Hey, hey, hey! As you may recall, earlier this year, I talked about the Saturday 70s classic Falber and the Cosby Kids. Now, let's talk about the first of three big specials. And this came out five years later after the show had premiered. And that would be the Fat Albert Halloween Special, which is celebrating its 45th anniversary this year. Big T's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. So greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Yoel, better known to as the Big D, and this time around I bring to you a review of the 1977 animated special, The Fat Albert Halloween Special. Produced by Filmation, the special premiered on this day, October 24, 1977 on CBS, which happened to be the network the show started on. Anyway, this is, of course, based on characters, well, real, they are, it's well, based on the real-life friends of Bill Cosby. The special was written by Hal Sutherland, who, of course, was one of the founders of Filmation, written by Bill Danch and Jim Ryan, who had written numerous episodes of various Filmation programs, like Fat Albert, for instance. Anyway, special opens with Fat Albert and his colleagues, the Junkyard Gang, which of course consists of Rudy, Bucky, Bill, Russell, Mushmouth, Dumb Donald, and Weird Harold. Well, they're hailed to a store to get costumes because it's Halloween time in the city. But soon they have a little bit of an a little bit of an issue with this guy Devery. Well, he and Rudy ask for service, and they find the shopkeeper is helping another customer, a, a woman named Miss Bake Bakewell. It turns out she has a scary reputation. She has been known to never talk to anyone and lives in a creepy old house out by the cemetery. But Fat Albert isn't afraid of her. Who does he think she's as spooky or weird as the other say? Well, apparently, uh, the gang get into a little bit of some issues and what have you throughout this run. Devery, who of course is in big trouble and what have you, especially when he comes across his kid sister. They plan to scare off some of, of some old people. They're starting with old Searchlight Johnson, who of course is an usher at the movie theater. Yeah, I gotta tell you, now... That was pretty funny, because the gang was watching a sci-fi horror film, and I gotta tell you, yep. The next, next up was Old Mudfoot. Mudfoot Brown, of course. Albert protests that he didn't do anything to them to deserve what Devery and the others had planned. After all, old Mudfoot isn't that bad of, a, of an old-timer. I mean, I like the character on the show. Boy, it just they're just trying to show that old Devery's just wrong and what have you. But they're saving the best... For Miss Bakewell and what have you. But I'm not going to give you the rest of the story. You're going to have to see what happens. And see how Miss Bakewell turns out. Okay? That's all I'm really going to tell you on this special. So no ending spoilers or anything. So if you want to see how the ending goes. 
what's the special okay so anyway what did I think of the Fat Albert Halloween special? I've watched it a few times and what have you. You can find the full special on YouTube, as a matter of fact. And what can I say? It's pretty funny and what have you. Just like what you can expect from any Fat Albert episode. And it's and like every single episode of the show, it does provide a good educational message. Only unlike its Saturday morning predecessor, no no live action wraparounds throughout the episode with Bill Cosby in live action form, even though he lends his voice to the characters he from which he lent the voices to in on the actual series. So anyway, I gotta say. It's pretty good. Now, of course, the, sh the special is also available on DVD, which I think you can get for a pretty reasonable price. I could be wrong, though, but... Um, no, I'm afraid not. That's kind of out of print, what have you, so it'd be tough to find. Now, some copies of this might be for a little cheap on eBay, that's probably your best chance of finding it. A few of them do, but Amazon has it for way too much money, so I'd say get it on eBay, but if you're not satisfied with even a low price, then stick with good old YouTube. Again, you can find the full special on there. Anyway, this did prove to be a big success, and then a couple months later, Valber and the gang will be back for the Valber Christmas special in December, which I will be talking about that later on. Anyway, I've got to say, I just enjoyed some of the fun moments in YV. This had so much fun. And that's about all I can tell you. So, uh... Well, I'll only give you one heads up, though, when, um, on one slight spoiler, why have you, Mudfoot takes just about all the treats from the gang. Um, well, actually, I think he does take all of them. Boy, I gotta tell you, he tells him one crazy story. But even so, yeah, it still proves to be funny. So that's, that's my only little bit of a little slight spoiler for you. But anyway, just watch the series for the ending, because I'm not giving this whole, the whole story away to you. I think it's a pretty good special, and this is definitely worth looking into. Again, you can find the special on YouTube. Just look up Faber Halloween special, and you should be able to, and you'll have found it and watch it in no time. So what are your thoughts on the Faber Halloween special? Let me know what you think what you thought about in the comment section below. If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe, and be a part of the Big D Nation. Join me next time when I bring to you my spoiler-free review for the new Netflix film, The School for Good and Evil. That's right, you heard me correctly. I'm going to bring you a, a solo review of that. So thank you for watching, and if you like this, consider check out some of these other fun-filled Vids. In the upper left hand corner is the Saturday morning TV log I did for Falbert and the Cosby Kids earlier this year. The upper right hand corner is a review I did on another one of my favorite Halloween specials, and that was It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Or go to the bottom left hand corner and see my review for another great Halloween animated special, The Halloween Tree from 1993. And the bottom right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.